Today we're going to be talking about Adam's Family movies. Two, two of them. Two of them, the good ones. Not the, the you know, bootleg Jenna Ortega. The Oscar Isaacs and the Kate Blanchett's and the little squished animated faces. Yeah, they all look like little stick bugs. Get out. It's hideous. It's horrible. Today we're talking about the good ones. Adam's Family, 1991, and Adam's Family, 1993. Yeah. Adam's Family Values. The Values. Yeah. And this was your first time watching Adam's Family, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure. What'd you think? I th didn't hate it. I, I thoroughly didn't hate, didn't it. hate we'll it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, oh. so first we're going to talk about The Adam's Family, 1991. I do think it's worth mentioning, too, that this was a trend in the 90s of taking an old show from the 60s or 70s and turning it into a like big blockbuster movie. Hush, Mama. It's for charity. Widows and orphans. We need more of them. Did you know that Angelica Houston, who plays Morticia, she went underwent two hours of makeup to get that level of uh, paleness? That doesn't come naturally? Does not come naturally, mm. apparently. I thought it just was natural for you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> for me, yes. I wake up and I'm just Morticia, Morticia Adams. Yeah. <laughs> Mark uh, Tisha. <laughs> yeah, I'm Morticium Adams every day. It actually started as a cartoon by Charles Adams in The New Yorker. Later, it became a TV show in the 60s, which you haven't seen any of. No, but I am familiar with it. Yeah. I, I thought it started as like an animated uh, cartoon. I think that it became that in the 70s mm. from like the 60s show. Um, mm. And in 1991, they hit the big screen and it was directed by our very own Barry Sonnefeld. Our very own? Yeah, because we... Just we watch movies. <laughs> he's, he's actually the guy that uh, runs our cameras now. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but he's actually sitting back there. Uh, he's giving us the old... Razzle why I oughta. Yeah, yeah. Barry Sonnenfeld gave us movies such as Men in Black and uh, <laughs> Wild Wild West. So don't forget uh, that one. <laughs> Basically, the plot of the first Adams Family. Lewis, what would you say the plot is? <clears throat> the Adams family, they're living pretty happily in their like billion dollar mansion. That's true. But you know, good old Gomez, he misses his brother Festa. Festa. <laughs> you know, and he has lawyers that are a little bit mischievous that want his money because he's rich. Yes. Do they ever explain why they're rich? No. I'm going to guess it's like vampire money though. It's uh, like they're rich because they've been alive for a billion years. Yeah, yeah but uh, they meet some shady investors and uh, one of them happens to look exactly like his brother. Yes. And may or may not be his brother? Yeah. So they decide to catfish his, him as his brother. Yes. To get in the house and steal their money, which is successful. Oh, it turns out the man who looks exactly like his brother and acts exactly like his brother is secretly his brother. What? Dr. Pindeschloss really did find Fest tangled in a tuna net 25 years ago with amnesia. From the Bermuda Triangle. So you have Chris Lloyd playing Fester. Yeah, I did not recognize it as Chris Lloyd. I thought it was, oh. like, at first I was like, why does he look familiar? Yeah. I was like, that can't be Christopher Lloyd. He's like a skinny, frail old man. Bro, permanently. You, you know what I love is his stance. Yeah. His, his very, like, no neck, <laughs> shoulder forward. That, that that's like a lot of like makeup and like a bodysuit, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like I guess he must have had prosthetic humps on because he's yeah, like this. Cause he's like a he's a skinny, frail old me character. Very true. Um, but he plays a great fester. Yeah. And the whole time, every time he's like sitting in a crowd and he just looks like this. <laughs> that's what I feel like <laughs> like ninety percent of the time. You have Ra Raul Julia as Gomez, Raul. Uh, Angelica Houston as Morticia, and Christina Ricci as Wednesday. Of course, that was yeah. her. Big, you know, standout performance. Yeah. Another fun fact, Raul Julia actually accepted the role of Gomez to make a film his children could watch. You think this is family friendly? Would you say that? I thought it was like a PG kids movie and I was like, this cannot be PG. And then I looked in his PG-13 and was like, that makes a little more sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because Gomez and Morticia are, are just ready. They're very ready. At all times. At all. At all places. <laughs> a anywhere at the school. At a uh, public no, auction. In the dungeon. No. In a car, <laughs> at the table eating family dinner, on a boat, in a plane, with a goat, <laughs> on a train. <laughs> yeah. Gomez, querida. Last night you were unhinged. You were like some desperate howling demon. 
You frightened me. Do it again. Both of them, I thought that the casting is so good. Yeah. Um, I think they cast it just perfectly. Yeah. Even the kids, uh, Pugsley and uh, uh, Thursday. dead? Does it matter? So then we get to Adam's Family Values. Adam's Family Values does everything that Terminator 2 did with yeah. the original. They took the premise and they added to it. It's funnier. The writing's really good too. That's something yeah. we didn't mention yet. So many good one-liners. Yeah. He has my father's eyes. Gomez, take those out of his mouth. Pugsley. The baby weighs 10 pounds. The cannonball weighs 20 pounds. Which will hit the stone walkway first? I'm still on fractions. Why are you dressed like somebody died? Wait. Isn't he a lady killer? Acquitted. Oh, Wednesday's at that very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind. Boys. Homicide. And so Joan Cusack's character gets introduced, and she's our villain, if yeah. you will. But I'm going to be honest, I really like her character. And I think she would have got along really well in the family. I think she does for the most part. If only she wasn't after Fester's money. If yeah. if only they could, like, team up and try to, like, scam other, like, dudes, I think they could be very happy together. Yeah. Honestly, I think, like... I kind of would have liked if the ending was her sort of actually falling in love with Fester and they just choose us a part of the family. I wish so too because she's kind of like they call her the Black Widow as her like you know criminal name and I like that she could fit into like the family archetypes that way but as it turns out she winds up getting cremated. Yeah. You remember with that? With electricity. They do a lot of good things with like some of the lore of the Adams family like Cousin It. Yeah. And Having cousin it get with like the lawyers from the last one. Yeah, and from the they first have a wife. little baby it. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciated that. That's that's pretty fun to me because yeah, that was. It's a little touch that they didn't have to put in there, but they. It just I felt like it just added something yeah. to like the whole world. That this it living. does, and it makes you think. Oh, normal people could become an Adams. Yeah. Yeah, and and I like too. We that could they, be Adams. We could. Well, <laughs> I could be. <laughs> <laughs> We're, keep, we're, keep, keep that. We keep, we're keeping that. There's two black people oh, in the yeah. second one. I'll say that. They make fun of them both. And I Jamal. Love. Yeah. He's like, what's your name? Uh, Jamal. Uh, J-Man. Jamal. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't care. Um, I'm still not sure just how to pronounce this. Jamal? Jamal? Jamal. Whatever. That's a, the camp scene is awesome. Yeah. I want to know what kind of camp this is. First of all, a Thanksgiving play at yeah. summer camp? Yeah. Why? What? White you people. Yeah. That's probably what it is. <laughs> Just seeing this made me want to watch like the Wednesday series. But yeah. also, I want a whole series about Thing and to see what he does. I want Thing and his new wife. Also, oh. it's something I should mention. The uh, Thing's wife uh, shows up with the biggest like gypsy haircut I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The very first one. She yeah. showed her hair so big. Oh, I, I, just I, just, I just wanted to mention <laughs> that. The Adams Family. Yeah. Didn't hate it. Did not hate it. The Adams Family Values. Didn't hate it at all. Didn't hate it. No, I think I like it, ex it escalates, like, doesn't it? Especially watching them both back to back is... It's pretty nice. It's something special. It, it really is, and it feels like a show. Yeah. And what's funny is they actually made a new Adams Family show in mm. like the late '90s, I think. Mm. And I don't think it did as well. Mm. But I would have loved to see this cast like in a Netflix style show. Yeah, or like just to have it continue in like a third. This should have been a trilogy. So that's our thoughts on Adams Family, the the good movies. Yeah. They, Let us know what you guys think, and we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye.